better like the marshmallow, otherwise you are such a hoe. So yummy and so sweet, that's all I need to eat. Hello guys and welcome back to another Jonah Central tutorial. Now let me ask you a question. Have you ever wondered how fast you can make a marshmallow? No? Well now it's time to start asking yourself the big questions. Start off by deleting the default cube and adding in a cylinder. There you go, there's your marshmallow. But we can take it a step further. Go into edit mode and switch to face select and select the top and bottom faces. Press control B and move your mouse outwards a tiny bit until you're satisfied with how it looks. Open up this little menu down here and change the segments in bevel to something around three. There. Now we got an even nicer looking marshmallow, but we can take it a step further. Shade smooth and go to the shading workspace. Create a new material and add in a Veroni texture. Add in an invert node. Plug in distance into the color of invert and plug invert into the normal of the principled BSDF. Now make sure to add in a bump node and put it in between the invert node and principled BSDF and take invert out of normal and put it into height. Now as you can see, this is not looking like a marshmallow at all. It's looking very messed up. So to fix this, change the scale on the Veroni texture to something around 30, change the strength down on the bump node to something around 0.2, and there you go. Sure we got this oddly bumpy marshmallow, and we could say we're done, but let's go even further into how grand we can make this look. Let's do it. So add in a mix RGB node and add in a noise texture. Plug the fact of the noise texture into the color 2 of the mix RGB and as you can see we can control a mini noise texture within the marshmallow. Change the detail up to 16. We don't have to mess with any of the mix settings if you really want to. Feel free to but I think I might leave it Actually, no, I won't. I'm going to move this to 0 0.7. 0 0.7 looks good. And now, go over to subsurface and change the subsurface to something around 0.2. And change the subsurface radius all to 1 so we can get that white, creamy look of the marshmallow. Now, if I go into rendered mode and bring this light up right next to the marshmallow, maybe turn the roughness up a bit. There we go. Now we have a nice looking marshmallow. But we can go even further. Isn't that insane? Go into edit mode and press Control R and scroll up until you have about even faces on the side of the marshmallow. Awesome. Now select the top and bottom faces of this marshmallow and ex press E, right click, S, Shift Z and scale it down until it's about that size. Press Control R on the top of top face of the marshmallow and scroll up until all faces are even. Right click and then left click. Do the same for the bottom face. Awesome. Now go to modifiers, add in a modifier and add in a displacement modifier. What the hell is going on? Now click new and then go to the texture properties tab. Switch the type from image or movie to clouds and change the cloud size something around 0.5. Awesome. Now change the strength down to something like 0.1 and add in a modifier and add in a subdivision surface. Now if you can't tell what is going on, we have just made the most realistic marshmallow possible. Not really, but if you want to make a quick, easy marshmallow with the world's simplest notes set up in modifiers that you can throw into your projects, this is the way to do it. If you want to add any extra detail to your marshmallow, that's for you to decide, but I've done what I can, and I hope this tutorial helps out, and I hope to see you guys on the next video. See you later.